Hello my stamping friends and crafting friends. This is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com. If you're new to my uh, videos, you can go to MyPinkStamper.com on my website and there's uh, many more video tutorials for you guys. Okay, I am doing something different. I promised after my last video that I'd use the regular Cricut for this video even though I have another one that I'm going to post on the Cricut Explorer, but I promised you guys, and I'm going to stick with that promise. Today you're going to get another sneak peek at um, one of the other stamp sets I'm releasing. Uh, <laughs> this Friday the 12th is my big release. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. There'll be some re-releases, but also some new stamps and some other new product that I haven't had before. Are you guys curious yet? Okay, so we're using the stamp Big Hugs by, um, that's being released this Friday. Anyway, I cannot believe I did not have a Big Hugs stamp in my collection out of the 60 stamp sets I released in the past few years. I didn't have one that said Big Hugs that was big like that, and so I'm excited for that. Okay, so I'm using the Birthday Bash Cricut cartridge, and I just used this recently also, and I'm also using some of the pattern paper from a previous video, I think just this past week. I'm really going to show you guys how to use what you have and you don't have to turn around and buy all new paper. You can, you know, paper is awesome. I love it and I have kind of a paper addiction, but try to use your scraps because I, I used to never use my scraps and then I had a big pile. Okay, we're using this elephant, which I love. I've made some cards with him before or her before on page doo -doo -doo. Oh, I don't think these ones have page numbers. Oh, they don't. Or I'm just blind. Oh, they do. I'm just blind. 38. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Okay, we're using this elephant because big hugs. Wouldn't a hug from an elephant be big? I think so. So let's do this. So we're going to follow me through this. You're going to follow me through this. Okay. I don't know how big I want to make this guy. Hold on. I have my lighting all messed up today. Ah! I just almost fell. Ow. That hurt. Alright, first thing we're going to do is see how high we want, our big we want to make it. And I'm looking at this. It's pretty proportionate. It might be a little bit... Um, actually, it looks like it's about the same. So sometimes if you... Let's say I wanted to make it the elephant three inches, and I'll put three inches, but then it's like five inches wide, and so then it's, you know, too big. So if you're not using the software... You can't really see how big it's going to be before you cut it. All right, let's find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Where are you? You're asking, Robin, are you wearing your glasses today? No, they're in my car. Do you guys see the elephant? Am I just blind? Here it is. Okay, press your elephant button, and I'm going to make the elephant probably about three inches. So this is going to be a pretty big elephant because they're big hugs, right? So a big elephant. So I have black and I have my blade set on six and I've been using the Cricut Explore a lot. What I found um, is that it cuts a little slow because it's it's so intricate. You can really get the, the intricate cuts with it, which I love. But it, if you want to do the fast cutting, what am I doing? Why won't it cut? Oh, I didn't load my mat. That would help. Okay, if you want to do the super fast cutting, um, just use your Cricut Expression. Most of you will have a Cricut Expression if you have a Cricut Explorer. Um, or you can just be patient, and that's one thing I lack, is patience. Well, that's not one thing I lack. <laughs> well, it is one thing I lack. It's not the only thing I lack. Okay. Now, for this pattern paper, it's a little bit thinner, so I'm going to put my blade on five. And it's the elephant right here, so I'm going to hit layer and press the elephant button again. And that'll cut my top layer. Don't forget when you're switching between card stocks to change your blade setting. When you're using the Explore and you're putting it all on the same mat like I showed you how, um, you might want to do your pattern paper on a separate mat so you can change the setting on your Cricut Explore to the different type of paper weight. Otherwise, your blade will stay the same and the pressure will stay the same. Okay, line return. I feel like I'm, this is so old school after using the Explore. Okay, this is still pattern paper, so this is just a lighter blue that's going to be the ears. So I'm kind of doing these out of order. So that's layer two. 
and I'm going to press my elephant. If you are confused, remember you can always in my dusty, that is so sad that my Cricut has dust on it. Um, I had it open and you know with building a new home, it just is, the dust is still settling everywhere by the way. Okay, move your little arrows to, this is the thicker cardstock so I want to change it to five. And this is going to be out of order again so let's press layer one. And then the right hand side is always the shift button. Okay, and then we only have one more cut after this. I'm going to put my elephant together, and then we'll finish the simple big hugs card. Okay, everyone, I'm doing a complete do-over. The pattern paper looked horrible on, did I stress that, horrible on the elephant. So I've just changed it. I'm just doing a light blue with the turquoise for the ear, and the pink and the yellow and the black are the same. Okay? And I'm changing the size. The three was a little bit too small, so I'm going to go up to uh, three and three quarters. All right? For such a quick video, this video is taking me forever to make. So anyway, okay, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and emboss part of it and then we'll put it together. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. This strip is two inches by five and a quarter and I'm using this new embossing folder that I got and this is actually part of today's giveaway. So if you wanna win a new um, embossing folder for your, um, embossing machines. You can just enter today's giveaway. Go to MyPinkSamper.com and leave a comment. That's how you enter the giveaways. And I have 12 this in the past, um, since December 1st, we're doing 12 days of giveaways and videos and um, challenges. So join us over there if you haven't already. Okay. So I have this embossed. I have my cute elephant and he looks so much cuter. Let me tell you, I was having issues. But you know, I like pink, so I'm doing this one for fun. This is just a fun video that I'm probably going to give to somebody. Okay, so I have this cut. I have it a little bit um, smaller because I'm having multiple layers today. So I have this cut at three and three, sorry, five inches long, three and three quarters. And then this is your traditional four by five and a quarter for your first layer. I'm not using any ribbon, so I can go ahead and add that on. If you were using ribbon, you'd want to wait and add the ribbon first. Let's go ahead. I like how the black just makes it pop. So it's nice to add black in there. And I'm not sure where this is going to be. Let me see. I had it one way. Yeah, I think I'm going to have it all the way up at the top flush. So when you're using an embossing piece of paper, make sure that you do all of the sides or it will kind of bubble up a little bit. All right. Oops going to have this at the top here and over here. Okay, now we're going to stamp big hugs using My Pink Stamper Darkest Night. Darkest Night will be available on Friday. Can you believe it's almost time for my new release? The pre-orders are all going out this week from November's uh, new release. This month there will be no pre-orders. They're all, it's going to be in stock. So, if you want it right away, you might want to get your order in. Otherwise, we'll just wait till they're in stock again. I'm not doing pre-orders again. Um, never say never, but it, oh, I don't want to ever do pre-orders again because I, I like to get the orders out quickly and I was doing something new. I wasn't quite sure how many orders I would get, so I didn't want to just order a bunch of product. And so when you guys ordered and um, I was amazed, I thought it would wouldn't be as many, so um, I wasn't quite as prepared as I should have been, so I will be prepared next time, I promise. Okay, big hug. So this is just a fun card to give to someone maybe who's having a bad day, who needs just a hug, or just a nice fun card from a friend. Hope you guys have a, a happy day and enjoy day, what is it today? Day eight of My Pink Stamper's 12 Days of Christmas. And we'll see you every day this week, and especially you won't want to miss Friday morning for the big release, and um, we'll see you soon. Bye. Look at me trying to rush my video and forgetting the main important thing, the, the card part. Okay, so I just want to show you guys. This is just the card, the, the part that you'll open and write in, write your letter. People like to know what's on the inside of my card. I write letters to people. I write notes, um, you know, like we used to back in the days. We'd write actual letters to people. Um, so, you know, grandparents really appreciate that, um, and a lot of people appreciate handwritten notes, 
and they can keep it forever. Emails are great, but emails, I promise emails are not going to be around forever unless you print them out, and that's kind of impersonal sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to have a handwritten note from somebody you love or like, right? You might not love everybody. Um, okay, so here we go. Big hugs, and now look how it's popped out. That actually made the card look a little bit different. Looks good. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.